everyone, Bob and I want to welcome you back to Kids Church Online. Today we're going to be continuing to look through the book of Acts. But before we start that, I want to have a quick chat with all of you. I know at the moment things can be a little uncertain. We don't know exactly what's happening. We might not have been able to go back to school this week. We don't know when we're going to be able to go back to church, do we, Bob? But you know, there's one thing we're 100% sure of. Bob, do you know what that is? Oh, Bob knows. Bob knows that we can be 100% sure that God is always with us. Is that right, Bob? No matter what's going on in our scary world, we know we've got God right beside us and he's always listening to us and he always wants to talk to us. So as we read today from the Bible, my prayer is that you feel God really close to you and that you also hear his voice. So I'm going to pray and I want you all to jump up on your feet because we're going to sing a really fun song. Dear God, thank you that we can come together today to hear from your word. We pray that you make yourself known to us, that we feel you really close by and we hear you talking to us today. Amen. about another story from the book of Acts but before we do Bob wanted me to share with you what his favorite part has been so far he loves seeing how the Holy Spirit can empower God's people to do some really amazing things is that right Bob cool well today's story is all about a man named Philip and he was a follower of Jesus and he had been going around telling lots of people about the amazing work of Jesus and one day he was on a road maybe a bit like the one that Bob and I are on. 
And as he was walking along the road, an angel of the Lord appeared. And this angel told him that he needed to go along the road because something special was going to happen. And as he started walking along that road, he was led by the Holy Spirit. And he did come across something special. A man who was an Ethiopian, he was a very important man, was reading the Bible but couldn't understand it. So Philip helped him to understand it and helped him to see that the Bible was talking about Jesus. When the Ethiopian heard this, he believed. He believed in everything that Jesus had done. And then he wanted to be baptized. And so Philip baptized him in some water and he received the Holy Spirit. Now Bob is going to share with us from the Bible the story of Philip and the Ethiopian. Philip baptizes an Ethiopian man. This is Philip. He says hi. Philip was a Christian who was willing to go and tell people all about Jesus. Philip and some of Jesus' disciples were telling people in the small towns of Samaria about Jesus Christ, God's Son, and many people believed the good news. One day, an angel of the Lord appeared to Philip and said to go along a desert road. He wondered why God had sent him to such a lonely place, but he knew that God's Spirit was with him. God wanted Philip to tell someone about Jesus. But who? The Holy Spirit told Philip, go to the chariot and stay near it. As Philip went down the desert road, he saw a man in a chariot. This man was an important man from Ethiopia. He was reading from the book in the Bible called Isaiah. Philip asked the man if he understood the words he was reading. I can't understand them, he answered, and I have no one to teach me. So Philip explained to the man from Ethiopia how God had written long ago about his son and that anyone who believes in Jesus would become a child of God. I want to be baptised right now to show that I believe in Jesus, the Ethiopian man said. If you truly believe, you can, Philip replied. I do believe Jesus is the Son of God, the man from Ethiopia declared. So Philip baptised him in the river. That was another fantastic story from the book of Acts. And again we are seeing that nothing can stand in the way of God's plan. God was providing the opportunity for Philip to be able to talk to this Ethiopian what were the chances that he was reading this exact passage from Isaiah? It says, He was led like a sheep on its way to be killed. He was silent as a lamb whose wall is being cut off. And he did not say a word. He was treated like a nobody and did not receive a fair trial. How odd's that? That's the exact passage the Ethiopian was reading. And he didn't know how to interpret it. But God provided the opportunity and along came Philip. And Philip saw this passage and he goes, God's given me the opportunity. He told me I needed to do this, to tell this man about Jesus, because this passage is talking about Jesus. And so God provided that opportunity for Philip to be able to share the good news about our risen Lord Jesus so that the Ethiopian could be saved. Now, a bit of a theme that's been running through the book of Acts is how the Spirit's at work. And we see it in this passage as well. The Holy Spirit, God's Holy Spirit, was leading the way. In verse 29, it says that Philip was told by the Holy Spirit to go and to stay near the chariot. And I think you remember this from previous weeks. We've got that Holy Spirit too. It's leading us. It's helping us. We've got the Holy Spirit inside of us, telling us the way to go and the words to say to people. Not only does God give us the opportunities give us the Holy Spirit to lead the way. God uses his word. We've got these fantastic books here. They can come in many different shapes and colors and versions and different size fonts on the inside. But we've got God's word and he uses it really, really powerfully in cool ways. And we see that here when we we're reading from the book of Isaiah, that God uses his word to speak to people so that they can know about Jesus. And so that's why it's really important that we read the word too. That we can hear God speak to us and that we know that 
what God says can be told to other people. Not everyone has a Bible at home, so if we know about what's in it, we can tell them about it. Now, there's one other thing we get out of this passage about what God does. So God provides opportunities, his spirit is leading the way, and he uses his word or the Bible to talk to people and to us. But there's a piece missing. That's right. He uses his people. And we're his people. Just like he used Philip to tell the Ethiopian about Jesus, he's using us to tell other people about Jesus as well. That's a really amazing thing. As believers of Jesus, we have the Holy Spirit inside of us that's leading the way. When we go to church or we listen to kids' church online and we're reading our Bibles at home, we're getting the Word too. So we're believers with the Spirit, we're reading God's Word, and we're His people. And He's giving us opportunities. We might not have an angel of the Lord appear to us with a bright light, but we do get given opportunities every single day, every single week. They might only be really small, they might not be as exciting as some of the ones in the Bible, but they're just as important. So again this week, I want you to be looking for opportunities. Many of you will be back at school now, so I want you to think of a way and just be really aware and keep watching out for an opportunity when God is going to give you to tell someone about Jesus so that they can know him too and so that they can experience the hope and the joy that we have. So I'm going to pray for all of us now and then you've got some really fun discussion questions to do with your parents. And I hope that you all have a really fantastic week and I'd love to hear any stories from you about how you've been able to share Jesus with a friend. And you can get your parents to send that through to me. So let's all pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much that you give us the opportunities to tell people about Jesus. That we have your spirit and we have your word to be helping us to do this. We pray that you'll be with us and give us strength and courage to go and tell other people about Jesus. Amen. I hope you all have a good week. Bye.